Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. Uh, I should probably tell I'm still under the weather. Um, I've been given this gift by uh, Papa Nurgle and um, I'm just enjoying it, just trying to enjoy it as much as possible, uh, you know. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Um, so thank you to all of the new subscribers and all of you viewers that keep watching the videos uh, every few days, every week, um, does mean a lot. Um, if you'd like to support the channel um, via Patreon for like a dollar a month, you can do, it's there. Uh, that helps me try and get the newest releases and um, bring you the unboxings and reviews as early as possible. It also means I can get models and armies that I wouldn't normally get in my own collection um, to give you those uh, reviews. If you can't support the channel that way, um, I would recommend you buy all of your Warhammer stuff from uh, Element Games. They ship worldwide. You can get 25% off. Um, just use my affiliate link. I think for the past few weeks, my affiliate link hasn't been working because there's a few numbers knocked off the end. I've noticed that <laughs> and uh, now I've, I've changed it. So it should be working now. Uh, and that just tells them that I've told you about them um, and that helps the channel. Let's go straight over to the news then. So there has been quite a bit of news over the past week. I did manage to sort of squeeze out the, the news and pre-order video, um, I think on time or on the Sunday uh, last week, uh, which was uh, incredible. And um, I'm pleased that I did that. Let's have a look from like a week ago, like the uh, 27th, 28th. Um, so there was this uh, 140,000 September update with a load of FAQs, um, new from Black Library, holidays just around the corner. I think I covered this. Um, this awesome looking red gobbo. Uh, looks really, really cool. Um, it says, what he's got his list there. Um, teeth, 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 skates. <laughs> um, coming soon. So this is uh, up for pre-order uh, this weekend. You've got this uh, brand new model, this action figure basically from Bandai. Uh, I think it comes in blue and ultramarines but the actual chapter uh, symbol uh, just looks like it's painted on or plastered on or whatever so it should be quite straightforward just to spray this thing uh, a different colour um, and have it in your own chapter colours which I would love to do. I think they've only got 9,000 of them though, so you better get on there quick this morning. Blackstone Fortress, uh, they're finally they're really releasing the uh, Servants of the Abyss, which are the Chaos side. So you've got some um, awesome looking Chaos models in there, uh, in that box set, and also um, some Chaos Cultists, which I always think they should have been released separately anyway, uh, but that's so cool that they can, can be now. Um, I'm really tempted um, really, really tempted if I didn't already know that, you know, Sisters of Battle and a few more Primaris things were just around the corner. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, so that was the news uh, for those releases coming up uh, sort of um, this weekend today. There's Psychic Awakening The Path, a um, bit of a download there, some nice uh, fiction. Sisters of Battle Bulletin, um, you've got another picture of this uh, awesome looking penitent engine, which I'm really, really looking forward to. There's this beautiful artwork as well. A bit more about the model, um, all the intricate details and these buzz saws. It looks really cool. Um, Wield the Living Swords, so Psychic Awakening, another little um, showcase on uh, the Master of Blades, um, Drezar. Such a cool model compared to the old one. The old one had his blades really quite close to his body. I think he was metal originally, and now he's he's swinging them, and he's on this awesome looking uh, scenic base with some vines and a little Eldar symbol. And you got a little bit of rules there for him, just a bit of a teaser. And obviously that's the artwork with him against uh, Jane's art. Uh, there was a big announcement: Games Workshop and Marvel. Uh, they're teaming up for comics, though nothing to do with models. Maybe there might be models in the future, who knows? But anyway, they're teaming up for the comics. Um, Rumor Engine for October, there's this hammer thing. Uh, Blackstone Fortress, um, Unleashing Abominable. Warhammer World um, events. Um, there are quite a few events and conventions and things. There is going to be a, another 40k event in November. Uh, there, open day, 30th of November. I would really like to go there. Um, the there's a demo area showing showcasing new sisters of battle rules. Uh, you can get your hands on uh, one of the new models um, for free. 
Uh, you get free. Uh, I would have thought that'd be out by then, um, but it's cool that you can get a free model. And also, uh, it does actually say that Rachel Harrison and Dan Abnett will be there as well, so it's worth it just just for them, in my opinion. Anyway, lots of other events. Um, Converting Cities of Sigmar, The Sound of Lost and the Damned. So I think this is up for pre-order today as well. So this is the second book out of the eight, I think. And that's uh, going to be available in uh, limited edition and, and all the rest of it. So uh, then you've got Warband Focus the Grimwatch, Regimental Standard, <laughs> Why We Are Superior to the Eldari. Get your Space Marine action figure, there you go. Uh, yeah, you, we can make 9,000 of them. And it actually gets... Uh, from Asia, ships from Asia in early 2020. So you place your order and then your instance is created and it takes from October to early 2020 to to build these 9,000 of them. Um, so it's not like you're gonna get yours next week or even in a few months, it's gonna be early uh, 2020. So just bear that in mind. I don't know how much they're gonna be um, it doesn't say that in, in that article, which is a shame, but we'll find out very shortly. Uh, latest releases for the First Legion, we'll go through these in Forge World in a moment, um, but these are stunning, stunning new Dark Angels models. Uh, we haven't had the rules yet, they'll be in Book 9, I would have thought. Um, you've got this Leviathan Pattern Dreadnought, which looks incredible, and this awesome looking Praetor. Uh, I love the helmet and the shield, fantastic in that iron armour. So this is about our last chance to buy. You can finally only get these models um, for a short time. White Dwarf preview for October. And then that is about it. Then you can download the free short story as well. Okay, so let's jump on over to Forge World uh, website where um, you've got a showcase of these two uh, new Dark Angels pre-orders. If we just select new, and uh, there they are. So been quite a, a solid release for Space Marines for over the past two weeks now. You've had the White Scars Assault Speeder, and now you've got the Dark Angels Legion Leviathan Pattern Siege Dreadnought, and the Dark Angels Legion Praetor. If we click on pre-orders, it's these two. Let's have a look at the Leviathan Dreadnought first of all. So it will be body only, like all Dreadnoughts, like all Leviathan Dreadnoughts, the Contemporary Dreadnoughts and such. Um, £53, if we just slightly just uh, type in Leviathan, it's three pounds more than a normal Leviathan. And obviously those weapon arms, you'll have to buy them separately. They're 14 pounds each. So you're gonna add 28 pounds on top of your 53, which is 81 pounds. Um, so 81 pounds will net you a full Leviathan Dreadnought. I mean, you only really need one. Two's nice, but one is a real showcase. Um, it's not as big as the Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, Redemptor Dreadnought is a little bit bigger, but the Telemon Dreadnought for Custodes is still the largest Dreadnought um, uh, that Games Workshop and Forge World do. But I just much prefer the look of this Siege Dreadnought um, than the Redemptor. We don't even need to talk about the Invictus, it's, it's not even on the same page. But uh, beautiful looking Dreadnought. I like the configuration that they've gone for, uh, the Melter Cannon Array and also the, the Siege Claw. Um, looks really, really nice. I love the, the sort of gothic kind of spiked fringes that they've gone for. Um, yeah, it's not in the most dy dynamic pose, but in a way, you know, I think some Dark Angels models look a bit more statuesque. Um, so I'm pleased that it's they've gone for this kind of sort of statue kind of pose. But lovely looking model, £53. Um, finally, it can be yours for your Dark Angels. I think someone asked me on Instagram whether you can use it in 40k. You can use all the Leviathan Dreadnoughts in 40k, but I think maybe he was asking specific Dark Angels rules. Well, obviously your guess is good as mine. They'll come out in the supplement, much like Ultramarines came out in the supplement, but you won't get the Leviathan Dreadnought rules in that supplement. No way. Um, you'll just have to like use it vanilla-wise. Um, Dark Angels Legion Praetor, £22. Typically, Praetors are £22. If we just type in here, they've been Praetor, they've been £20 for a long time. Look, Blood Angels, you've got Alpha Legion Praetor there. One's in Cataphractial Terminator armor. Uh, typically four pounds more at 26 um, so yeah lovely little model and you know let's compare this to the plastic Space Marines I'm not saying that this should be used as as an excuse for the plastic games workshop and um, Space Marines like the lieutenant to be 20 pounds if anything uh, this is 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 fueled for the argument the other way around that those plastic Space Marines shouldn't be you know two pounds less than this lovely beautiful resin uh, miniature with way way more detail but it's just my opinion anyway 
what's nice is you get a few options. Um, you don't just get the shield. Um, you get the gun as well, the bolt gun um, that he can be firing. Look, he's got a picture of it there uh, in his left hand where his shield would be. But there's no picture of him with it painted, which is a bit of a shame. But you can do that. So you've got two heads. You've got the, the sword, the shield, or the bolt gun for £22. Quite a solid little uh, pre-order for those two. Would have been nice to get the Cataphracty or, or Terminator Dark Angels Praetor as well, just to round that pre-order release up. But maybe we'll get that um, another time. Okay, so we're on Games Workshop's website now. Um, there's nothing. They haven't updated the the moving pictures yet. I'm sure that'll come within the next sort of 20 minutes or so. Anyway, if we click on uh, new and exclusive, we can already see a little pre-order of um, you know Bandai Space Marine. If we click on pre-orders and we go view all and high to low. Of course, yeah, there's some pre-orders and things that were available last week uh, still, like the Start Collecting, Citizen Sigma um, stuff. Typically, they flush the previous week's pre-orders out on the Sunday, and then you're just left with the pre-orders for the rest of the week. Um, so we have to do a little bit of filtering at the moment. But here is the Bandai Primaris Intercessor Space Marine action figure. God, all these are getting a bit, bit, big mouthful. Anyway, um, it says here it's £75 for this action figure. Is that a decent amount? to pay normally um, for these action figures. Uh, I never bought one, so put it in the comments if that is a, is a decent price or whether they're, they're milking it a little bit. Um, but either way, uh, it says the product is made to order. Um, that's the key thing, you need to look at this. You, you're not gonna get this next week or even next month. It's gonna take 270 days, which is nine months, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So it's gonna take almost a year um, for them to, to make this and, and get it to you. It says within 270 days. It says early 2020. Um, early 2020, could that be February or March maybe? But still, that's not nine months away. That's, you know, less than nine months away. Um, looks pretty good. It's quite ironic that they're showing it not next to a Primaris Marine, but next to um, a normal Space Marine. Uh, and it looks like it's from the Space Marine Heroes set, just to get kind of the same pose. But, you know, they've known about this for a long time. There's no reason why they couldn't have just um, painted a Primaris Space Marine and had it in exactly the same pose um, as, as this one. Maybe because there isn't a Primaris in that pose, or maybe you can't get a Primaris to be in that pose because they're not as poseable. But whatever the reason, I've known about this a long time, they, they could have done that a lot better instead of showing just a normal Space Marine next to uh, this Intercessor. Um, I think the proportions are all right. The head is a bit small, but you know, yeah, it's, it's strange. I think the detailing as well, um, let's really enhance. Uh, there is red for the lens. And that does look okay. I mean, the metal, I like the shading in between the joints. Um, I can't see any kind of mishaps. I think the gold is just one color rather than, you know, shaded at all. I think the, the metal is shaded and possibly on the uh, chest plate, but the lenses just look red. Um, maybe they're varnished. It's so difficult to, to say without, you know, I think they just look like one colour. But they've done a good job with the spray metal at least. Um, and it is poseable. But there you go. Looks like he's got a blade too. They haven't really focused that much on, on the blade. But there's a blade in his hand. And that's the only... Oh, look, there's the only little picture we see with, with him with a blade. That's, that's frustrating. They should showcase it more. But anyway, that is £75 to pre-order today. 9000 if you want to be uh, the lucky ones to get one, um, you can pre-order it now. Uh, moving down the list then, we've then got this abominable intellect collection, which has all of the savings of the Emperor, which has all of the um, uh, sort of chaos models from Blackstone Fortress, some extra cards, uh, and the Cultists of the Abyss as well. So £50. Not too bad, you could do worse, but then again, it's almost breaching into like a full game price, uh, 50 pound for those miniatures. Moving down, I can um, filter a little bit better. Um, I think these are made to order, this, the Guacamole Crater Gators Field. 
Um, so that's for Blood Bowl. They look pretty decent, £49.50. You've got the Grimwatch collection. Guacamole uh, Crater Gators collection, £31.50. Um, Lizardman Pitch, £26. Uh, Blood Bowl Head Coaches Rules. Uh, Servants of the Abyss, £25 for um, the Chaos Models in the Blackstone Fortress set, um, except for Obsidious Malix. Um, but you do get you do you get a Space Marine? Do you get a Space Marine? You only get one Space Marine? No way. Wow, so you don't actually get everything then? Well, no you don't, because in the set you got four Chaos Beastmen, you only get one Rogue Psyker. Wow, okay. I thought you got all of the models. That's really interesting. So you're basically getting half. The other half are all duplicates anyway. So however the other Rogue Psyker you could have in a different sort of pose. But all of the uh, you know, Traitor Guardsmen were the same and so was the Chaos Space Marine. And the Urgulls of course and the Spindle Drones. Then you got the Guacamole Lizman Blood Bowl team. £22.50. Uh, you got Lost in the Damned Hardback uh, for twenty pounds. I'm not a big fan of the hardbacks costing twenty pounds. They they kept increasing bit by bit. Before they were like sixteen pounds, and then I and then I spent eighteen pound on the um, Mortarium one in February, and then from February to now it's an extra two pound. I think before before this eight collection series will finish, they'll be twenty five pounds each. Twenty pounds is is a fair amount now for a hardback book especially when you can get the, the softback for about eight pounds or so. I do think that they should release softbacks and hardbacks at exactly the same time though. Um, one would imagine that it's actually easier to make the softbacks um, compared to the hardbacks, but still, I think choice for the customer is always a good thing. Then you've got Beast Grey Grimwatch again. Um, Lord of the Fiefdoms, I'm not sure if they were around before. There's Blood Bowl Croxigor. And then some cards and a Neferata hardback, eighteen pound look. Team cut a pack for goblins, defenders of Pelinor, uh, profile cards. There's the Cultists of the Abyss, uh, eight models for fifteen pounds. You typically that's two pounds per model. Whether you think that's worth it for cultists, I think that's okay. Um, it would have been nice, I mean, who gets eight cultists anyway? I mean, it would have been nice to get like 10 or, you know, 14 or something. Um, you know, eight is like, yeah, sort of, they're not space marines, are they? But still, you can get them separately, which is always a good thing. Cities of Sigma, uh, Syrian and Beragond, the abominable, the abominable intellect cards for 10 pounds. And uh, some dice, so Lizardman dice, and then some Blood Bowl dice. They look very, very fancy. They look delicious. And I do like the colouring of the Lizardman dice too. You get Blood Bowl Spike Journal issue 7, and a few more novels, such as Death Watch, 899 Paperback, see? Uh, Shadow Breaker, another Death Watch no novel, and you actually got a Requiem Infernal. What's this one? Adeptus Sororitas novel. Hmm. Looks interesting. And um, yeah, you pretty much dice from last week. So that is all of the pre orders um, to, to deal with. You've got the Solar War um, book, uh, you've got the Primaris um, Bandai action figure for 75. Uh, and you've got some more Blackstone Fortress mini separately, and you've got all the Lizard Men Blood Bowl stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, quite heavy on the pre orders this week. I, I fathom to guess next weekend it, it must be the, the Primaris um, Transport. We've been waiting ages for that thing. Um, maybe they'll release that and the uh, Incursors or Infiltrators, whatever they're called, um, at the same time. Anyway, are you getting the action figure? Um, please do put it in the comments below. Um, if you can cope with a nine month wait. Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.